Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Chadlington. This is by Klotzy93. It is 275.15 megabytes to download and it's for PC and Mac players only. The reason for that is it's a 4X map. So yeah, just too big for consoles. Uh, anyhow, we're going to start off by reading the description. It says, welcome to Chadlington. Chadlington is located in the middle of South England in the country of Oxfordshire. Um, the map features typical British hilly terrain with layered stone walls, lots of greenery and right hand traffic. The small town is also the setting for the Amazon Prime series, Clarkson Farms. Perhaps some people will recognize familiar places, and I hope I do, because I love that series. If you haven't checked it out, you should. Uh, the map content. It's a 4X map, 79 fields, including 5 with grass and 5 with forest. Three open spaces for building covered uh, in grass. For, for building covered in grass. There we go. Sorry, there's a comma there. Missed the comma. Four prepared farms with different gameplay orientations. 11 sales points, one gas station, one biogas plant, one livestock dealer, one solar field. If more trees are to be placed than initially available, the tree limit must be increased, for example, with the More Trees mod. Um, there's one required mod, the Lamborghini R6250 by Gaming Flow, which would make sense based on the fact that it's based on uh, Jeremy Clarkson's farm, because I bet that's probably the closest to the Lamborghini that he has. Um, I just sped up time just so we're up to noon, so it's a little bit easier to see around. Uh, if we hop into the map here. Um, yes. So we start off owning this area through here. Um... Farm style, farmhouse. I'm curious how it's all. I'm just, I'm just curious to see how it's all gonna look. Uh, right over there, the cute farm shop. So if you have watched the Clarkson Farm series, this is a little like RV park, and then this is a farm shop right next to it. And there's like a little access road right here. Uh, it's great that it's over there. I love that. Um, that's fantastic. I'm pretty excited to go around this map because I love this series, and I'm excited to see that this map is out. Uh, but yeah, where are we at? We're up here over at the Clever Motors over at the store here. Um, but yeah, what is that right there? A pickup truck. I might buy our own pickup truck here and then we might drive around from here but uh, and then do a flyover at the very end. But I am very excited. Um, we go down here. We do have some stuff actually in storage, which is kind of interesting. Uh, no added products or anything like that. Quite a few pieces of starting equipment. We'll take a look at it in the store in a second. We do start with $100,000, no starting loan. Um, no animal pens. There are contracts in the fields we don't own is great and that charlie <laughs> i wonder if some of these guys are uh that's that's great if you don't know charlie is uh he's in the series but anyhow he doesn't look quite like that but uh regardless i don't know if i just can't think of any if any of the other ones in here are part of the series and i don't think they are but uh yeah that's very cool um okay no collectibles on here i'm gonna turn that off but uh yeah okay let's go back up to here uh we're down here at the store again so um, let's take a look actually first in the store here at our starting equipment. Uh, nothing least, we own a Kloss Axion 870. It's going to be Caleb's tractor. And then a Lamborghini 250 VRT, which could be Jeremy Clarkson's tractor. We also have a nice little Kloss Scorpion telehandler. Uh, we do have a pickup truck. We have ourselves a couple Rudolph trailers there. A uh, stone picker, small plow, small cultivator, well, more medium cultivator, I guess. And a cedar there, a uh, sprayer. And then finally, telehandler tools. We have a wrap bale handler, universal bucket, and a pallet fork. So... Um, everything we could need right there. Uh, but I'm going to buy us a brand new truck just so we have something to drive around in from where we are at right now, which is great. Uh, okay. Getting this bad boy and get driving around. I'm pretty excited, honestly, to drive around this place. This is a pretty cool thing that they did. Uh, we'll head out this way. And they didn't show off, they don't show off a ton of the town. And I've actually been over in this area, like in real life, and got to go hang out with Caleb Cooper. There's a video out on my channel about that, um, which is was great, great experience. But uh, yeah, Caleb Cooper's a fantastic guy. Didn't get to see Jeremy Clarkson over there, but uh, um, yeah, it was still all good. Uh, so over here, it looks like we got ourselves the dairy just off to the left there. Yep, and then it's back over behind us, the carpentry point. Uh, we will just go ahead and pull in here and hoping they'd just keep driving so that way they would get out of my way but they did not decide to do that and again this is a 4x map so it's gonna be quite large it's not gonna be crazy because like I, I mean not all the area is taken up but this is still gonna be a fairly large map um hopefully that it's not hopefully they didn't say this is 4x and this is where it could have gone out to i don't think they would have done that but anyhow there's the carpentry point on the left hand side right there Ooh, i gotta get in the correct lane used to driving in England. All right. Head up through here. 
and we'll continue this way. So there's Clever Motors. We passed that, or we started there. We're going to pass that and keep going this way. All right, right here on the right-hand side, we have the bakery. And then where do we want to go? I think we'll take... Um, I really just want to just jet up to the farm and head over there. I really want to do that. But uh, there's a lot of the map to be seen, and that's kind of the cool part. So we'll probably save that for, I think, last-ish. So I think what I'm going to do, since we're down here, I think I'm going to dip down. We'll take a look at this here, the tailor shop. And then we'll drive up this way, across, and then we'll head over here, up to there, and then work our way up take a look at things and then head down towards the farm, uh, which would be great. So we'll make it all work out. Did I take the wrong turn? I did, didn't I? Yep, don't want to go on this way. I want to go down that one. Okay, let's flip around here. All right, perfect. This way this time. Oh, gosh, that was bad. Bad turning my part there. Um, we don't have to go too far down here. The tailor shop is... Uh, not too far. Just right off there, off on the left-hand side. Yeah, so we probably don't need to go further in. But yeah, you can see it just right over there. We're going to flip back around and head the way we want to go. Which we're going to take a left. Take a look at some stuff there. Yeah, nice little village. A lot of good detail here. It looks like they actually spent a lot of good time on the map and um, hopefully did it fairly well. We'll see a little bit more of that once we get to the farm. And I'm sure I'll be able to recognize some of that. Uh, Left-hand side there, we have ourselves, looks like, is that the uh, spinnery? Yeah, spinnery point there. Uh, yeah, Taylor Shot spinnery over there. Yeah, okay. And then what do we got here? The supermarket and the gas station, and we're parked there. Our truck is there. Seems like, at least. Up here. Person's walking over, Got finally got on the sidewalk there. Yeah, there's the supermarket. Looks like our... Is there a pickup truck down there? Should be. I think. Out here. Yeah, oh yeah, there it is. Right there. Park right. I can smack into it. There we go. That's one thing I can move over here. We also have a fuel station right here if we need to get some gas. Alright, and we're going to dip up this way. And then right here, we have the restaurant cell point, or the pizzeria, I guess is what it is, right there. Um, down there's the farm, which we're going to get to. Uh, but we're going to cut across this way. We got over the grain mill. Okay, we'll head up over towards the grain mill now. Drop the sidewalk. Don't want to maim any pedestrians in accidents. It happens sometimes, but you want to try to avoid it as much as possible. Yeah, that's enough. I wonder if they have. Uh... They do. So you see that uh, big house right there? That's going to be, I'm assuming, Jeremy Clarkson's mansion is what that's representing, which is awesome. <laughs> and the old house that used to be there, he blew up. And so there's this whole history of him in the town. But um, even if you're not like a, because Jer Jeremy Clarkson is in Top Gear is one of his probably more famous things that he did. Uh, but if, even if you're not uh, a big Top Gear fan, I would highly recommend uh, watching all three. There's three series out there. There are three seasons out. Of Clarkson Farm. It's just a really good farming show, and it's it's absolutely fantastic and really hilarious. It honestly is amazing. I recommend it. I love watching it. Um, yeah, it's fabulous. All right, out here we have the next grain mill. Uh, we'll head out this way. We'll head down, head up, take a look at there, and then we'll head back up over this, and then we'll dip over here, and then we will head up and then over, and then we'll head down, take a look at this, and then I think we'll cut over this way. And then eventually we'll drive down over here and probably end out at the cute farm shop. Uh, so I'm probably, this is probably a little bit longer of a tour than normal because I'm pretty excited about this map. Um, and I don't know, maybe I do a little series on it. We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. You never know, you know. You never know. But uh, yeah, you just never know. Okay. Get a sip of coffee as I'm going here, drinking out of my DJ Go Ham mug. All right, probably be able to pass this guy. I don't know. We're coming up on the intersection here. Probably not, actually. We're going to head just... Yeah, we just want to head just down this way. Oh, I cut him off anyway, so we did pass him. Look at that. It all worked out in the end. Get a little bit better view so you guys actually can see a little bit more of the map. It definitely does feel like a 4X map because it's taking us a while to drive what would normally be a much shorter distance, so... It's definitely a big a big map for sure, which is great. All right, we're going to head this way. 
go the wrong way there for a second. Just up over there. It's all right over there. So there's nothing too crazy. We'll be able to see a little bit better into it. I think it's just a lime pit there, debris crushers in there, and then a lime station. So basically just kind of like a little stone quarry pit area, which we'll we'll go take a deeper look, dive into it uh, later on. But yeah. All right. Now we're going to head up here, curve right, and then take a left again to head up. Actually, we're just going to, why not? You know, we're just going to cut across the map here. Um, yep, this will just save us a... Half a second at a time, so the map tour is not hopefully six hours long, but uh, yeah. All right, we'll head up here. Ooh, easy does it, easy does it, easy does it. There we go, okay. Head up here, take a left here, and head up this way. This should take us towards the top of the map. And again, I'm assuming they looked at Google Maps probably to kind of base some of the fields and stuff like that off, because you don't see necessarily all of it through the series, but you get a lot of good looks at different areas. So, um, and a lot of these fields are on the right hand side, are all going to be Jeremy Clarkson's fields. Um, and there's the farm shop. Oh my gosh, it looks great. Don't look at it though, it's too cool. Did I go the wrong way? No, we're going to head up. We just got to go. We'll just dive over and take a look at the farm shop real quick because we're right here. The RV park right here, it's fantastic. This is so great. People would line up and just park on the side of the road to get into this farm shop. Oh my goodness, I got a picture of me, Mr. Silly P, virtual farmer GJ Goham in front of that sign right there. It didn't say cute farm shop on it, but the farm shop, this is the Diddly Squat farm shop. And right now they're actually, their parking lot actually went out a little bit into that field. They expanded it quite a bit, but this is great. Can we open it? Oh, darn. That'd be cool if there's, they could go in there. A little fire pit out there. Yeah, this is great. Normally they have a uh, like a trailer here selling like hamburgers and stuff, and here's the sell point for it. Like they have that back here. Then yeah, there's tables and stuff. This is great, absolutely amazing. Now the restaurant. Normally they have there's a restaurant that's somewhere down I believe over here. Um, they don't have that on here, which is fine. But this is just great, absolutely fantastic. It does remind me of that series. I do like it quite a bit. They don't normally play on like uh, English maps, and it's nothing against them. They're just I, I, I'm from the United States, and so like there's some nostalgia about being around like uh, American farms and stuff like that. So that's part of the thing where I just like to play on American maps. But this is just so cool. NSA, oh boy, National Sheep Agency. Whew. Not the NSA we need to worry about. Oh, that's in there. Great. And up over there, and there are four farms on here, I should say as well. I haven't even mentioned that. I mean, well, I mentioned that, I guess, in the description. But what's up there? We have the NSA Straw Place and the, the animal dealers up there. So that's great to have that up there. I think we will just head up to the farm. We can hit the last little peripheral areas on the way around uh, the bend, take a look at some of those. But uh, yeah, there are some other farm areas around here. So um, let's actually go ahead and purchase all the land on the map just to be able to have that available to us. Make it all our farm. And then, yeah, some other stuff popped up. So over here, we have a farmhouse, cow barn, and then a flat bottom silo. Down here at the bottom, we have a farmhouse and a pig sty, it looks like, for one of the farms. Um, this one's pretty, got a lot of going on. Horse barn, hayloft, big farm silo there, farmhouse, bell and pallet storage, and a vehicle workshop. Um, and I think those are the four farms. Yeah, because we have the main one here, then a second one there, third one, and fourth one there. So, um, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Okay. and. We have a BGA on the map. Another question I have. Is it up there? Yep, it is. Okay. And then did that give us the BGA? No. So you still have to go buy that. Um, it's not associated with the land. It's own own dealio. Uh, but yeah, and you own all this land on the right hand side. Well, not all of it, but all these fields immediately adjacent to the road on the right hand side. Um, you own all those starting out. So you don't own the full farm for sure. There's a lot of land in the farm. I think it's 1,100 acres or 1,200 acres, something like that. But you do have quite a bit starting out, which is great. So like that what's that over there is that one of the oh that's the starting farm over there and yeah that's jeremy clarkson's mansion is right up there we saw it on the way back around over there so yep we can see it up over there it's fantastic and it is a massive house on a hill which i mean makes sense but uh jeremy jeremy clarkson uh has definitely has the income for that so it makes sense that he has, lives in a massive house uh okay we are going to got a left up here can't do it yet. 
of all these uh, walls and things, which Gerald maintains. And you don't know who Gerald is because you haven't seen the series. You got to go watch the series. Oh, it's great. Can't tell you how great it is. It really is. Another sip of coffee there. Okay. I'll head up here. We'll be able to see the starting farm kind of layout, stuff like that, and see how it looks compared to everything else. All right, so I want to go in this way. I think that, yes, there's this is the long road into the farm and oh, this all looks, yes, very familiar. And there's the office in there. That's where Jeremy Carson office is in here. And this is the sleep trigger. I like that. This is great. I love this map. <laughs> I'm just uh, kind of fanboying a little bit over here. Great, you never really see inside this building in this series. Um, but you have that there. Can you open this up? Yeah, you can open that up. A little garage there if you want it. Uh, but yeah, and then over here, this is, uh, there's usually, there's this, this is definitely different here, the way they did the storage, but uh, so cool to see it all here. I would have wished, I, I would have loved to see them do a little bit more realistic. I do love they have stuff stored in here, like fertilizer and seed and stuff. This is where they store it normally. Um, and, yep, telehandler and stuff in there, but um, yeah, it'd be cool if they had, uh, I think it's because in the real real series, I feel like that's closer to the road. And this is more like an open area here, not a road going through, but it's still cool to see. Um, still cool to see all that. And there's a big old Lamborghini tractor that Jeremy Clarkson wanted. Um, but yeah, we have the rest of our equipment and stuff stored out here and plenty of space to do whatever you'd like to do and customize things and change it up. But uh, yeah, what's this in here? It's a farm style. That makes sense. There you go. But yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and do a quick flyover and then uh, call it a map tour. But this has just been absolutely fantastic. What a great map. Okay, so yeah, there's the farm there. Layout's a little bit different for sure. This is pretty accurate right here. The this in here gets a little bit inaccurate. They're trying to they're trying their best. I mean, without I mean, they would have had to make custom sheds for all of it and barns and stuff. So it would have been a lot of work. It would have been cool to see, but it would have been a lot of work, I think. So um, yeah, okay. That's all up through here. Obviously, we have the cute farm shop down here, or the Dilly Squat farm shop. Animal dealers right here, though. I should mention that on the way past. Yeah, we have the cute farm shop right over here, which they did a really good job, I think, with that. Um, RV park there, over here. And it's hard when you watch this series because you want it to be perfect and exactly accurate, but you're just not going to get that. Uh, here's the farmer shop there. Over here, we have the BGA. We head out this way. Looks like this is the sawmill out this way for us. Um... Yeah, so I'm out that way. We'll fly back down this way towards the town. Yeah, lovely map. Honestly, even if you weren't a big fan of the series, this would be a very playable, very cool map to be on. Um, supermarket down there, gas station. Again, we have the store right there. We have a couple productions over there, the carpentry and the dairy and what have you. Uh, but yeah, nice little town, nice little village here. And uh, yeah, so solar panels down there. It all looks very, very crisp, clean, and good. And out here, here's the big farm here, like the horse horse barn, horse farm area. And then down here at the very bottom is the little pig farm. Uh, but yeah, looks very nice. Oh, well, there's the grain mill. And then down here, this looks like another farm. Oh, it's outside of the map. Okay. So that doesn't really exist. It's just a figment of our imagination. Um, and up over here, I think this is the last, this is the last farm up over here. Yep, this is the one with the cows over here. That's all set up there. Then here we have the kind of like little stone quarry area, which this looks like there's some. Oh wow, this looks uh, this looks unique. I think is the way to put it. I don't know if this is the look they're intending to go for, but it looks like someone built this with Legos. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I've never seen something like that on a map before. That's for sure. Uh, but then you get your lime station and your uh, debris crusher there. Um, I don't know if you can scoop this stuff out. Like if it's, it looks like it's just built in to the map. And I don't know if it's like a glitch or something. Cause it's like, it's like the texture for rocks, but then the textures for basically like everything else in the game. It looks like is kind of scattered across it. So sorry, that was probably a little whiplashy how fast I pulled out of there. But uh, anyhow, yeah, that's, uh, that's the map. We're pretty much seeing all of it. There's some forestry stuff on the edge here, and yeah, it's all good. But yeah, it looks nice. Um, if you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. 
and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.